Hi, my name's Edward Saunders. Uh, I'm a hot air balloon pilot uh, in the global ballooning and uh, I help run the operational side as well. I got in Involved in ballooning basically because I was uh, forced into it pretty much. You know, my uh, my old man has been flying balloons for over 30 years, uh, and he he started this company over 30 years ago. And so uh, it was more of a point of case that I was, you know, a rite of passage more like it uh, that I was going to get involved in ballooning. So from you know my very first uh, breath on this planet, I've been involved in the, the ballooning as a as a activity and as a sport. I've been a pilot for about seven to probably seven years now. Um, I got my private license on the day of my uh, birthday, so on my 15th birthday I got that um, and it was just, it was always my main goal in life is I'm going to get my private license and my balloon license on the birthday and so that was uh, the first big achievement. So yeah, it's been about seven years now and then I, I got my commercial license roughly about eight months ago and so um, I've been flying commercially ever since and uh, loved every bit of it. It's been a, it's an amazing job. Oh, I, I love everything about it, you know, the, the, the one hour of being in the air for me is something really special, it like, uh, it fills me with so much joy, you know, the, I love the unpredictability of ballooning, you know, it's, there's never any flight that's the same, you know, it's not A to B like an airport, it's a paddock to another random paddock across the place, you know, there's never anything that's the same, so every flight is different and so it really keeps you on their toes and every sunrise is just as beautiful as the next. Uh, if, if I could describe ballooning in one way, I'd, I'd probably call it like the Hobbit, an unexpected journey and uh, I mean that in the whole meaning of that, like it's, there's this nothing the same every morning, you know, it's, uh, it's completely different and for pilots or whether it's your first time, I can guarantee you no one has been on that journey for that flight on that day, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's an incredible experience. How scary, flying is as only as scary as you as an individual make it, you know, it's not, uh, for me personally, I, you know, I, my first balloon flight, I was zero, and I'm born and bred in it, and I have no, like I have, don't fear ballooning because I've grown up in a really safe environment around it, and so, you know, the fear factor is only how you feel when you take off at that exact moment. So, you know, I can imagine if your fear, you know, have a fear of heights, then of course it's going to have a little bit of a fear factor of it. But, you know, ballooning as a as an aircraft and as a flying is a is actually a very safe industry to be in, and you know, compared to planes, helicopters, all these things, you know, there's really not much that can go wrong with the balloon in terms of the aircraft. It's such a simple, beautiful form of flying, you know, it's literally just hot air in a bag flying, floating along. There's really not much that can go wrong. So, for, uh, this is, and this is what I say to anyone with safety concerns is that there's, you know, there's really, it's just such a beautiful, safe, easy for, form of flying. And so, you know, for me personally, there, I don't have any fear factor, but I, I can see why people, some people would, but there's no need to be fearful. Oh, my favourite part of the flight. Uh, my favourite part of a flight is always the same thing. I just like, when I pull the quick release and uh, off we go. You know that first moment of getting in the air, and um, you know it's just such a, an amazing feeling knowing that you're just taking off and, and just starting. Like as I said, a journey before, but to because uh, you know when when I'm when I pull that quick release, I know I'm fulfilling a lot of people's dreams. You know their first time ever in a balloon, and it's just it's a really special moment. You know, second to that would be, you know, when the sun comes up, you know, when we have a beautiful sunrise, there's not much to beat than that, but, uh, you know, you're generally the first person to see the sun in the morning, so, um, you know, it's pretty special as well. I do a lot of flying outside of global ballooning, mainly just for, for personal fun, you know, like, it, it's not just a job for me, it's a massive hobby, and so, uh, you know, I've spent, as I said, since I was 15, I've travelled around Australia and the world flying balloons, whether it's th uh, through adventure, we've flown balloons over Mount Kosciuszko, Central Australia, Lake Eyre, and some all the way down the south coast, and just seeing some of the most beautiful, you know, landmarks across Australia and the world from the air, it's an incredible thing. And you know, we, I also do sport ballooning, which is uh, competition ballooning, which, is, um, which I've done in Australia and over, over in Europe as well. Um, which is flying and trying to manoeuvre a balloon because in a balloon you're only flying with the wind, you know, there's no way of uh, mechanically manufacturing a movement in a balloon, it's only by going up and down so, and using the wind to steer. So a competition is trying to steer a balloon using this wind and to get to a target where we drop a marker on it and it's, you know, you can have a hundred balloons in the sky and it's just like a spectacular sight to see. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing feeling, you know, flying around with all these people. Memorable experience. My most memorable experience, uh, I, I, I probably could narrow it down to like a couple. I don't know whether I could put it as one. 
I, I did a balloon flight over Lake Eyre with my dad, which was just after he had a, you know, a serious motorcycle accident, which was, um, and so this was his first balloon flight after that, 10 months later or 11 months later. And so that was, and Lake Eyre is one of the most iconic places in Australia, so it was, that was an ex extremely special moment. Um, Flying, uh, flying over Mount Kosciuszko, you know, covered in snow with the polar, you know, the peaks and the skiers down there, and uh, you know, it's just not many people have done that before, and so that was uh, also pretty incredible. But you know, flying around Europe, chateaus, all that type of thing, you know, you can't really pass it up. So uh, yeah, Lake Air and maybe uh, Kosciuszko with it.